bus just clipped the taxi. That's the second accident I've seen in the last 11 months. Taxi was just sitting there. Bus just misjudged. Interesting. Don't blame it on the rain. Something to say about when it rains. I found this to be true in Ecuador also. That when it rains here, people act like it's um, like a major blizzard. Gotta step out of the way, cart was trying to come through. They act like it's the end of the world. And you'll see a few brave souls out and about but for the most part if it's raining and um, you're gonna meet up with somebody or their plans to go somewhere it's off the table uh, they're not gonna go out in the rain and that is particularly true with females there are so many that I don't know I guess they saw Wizard of Oz too many times and think they're gonna melt I'm not sure why but that's just the way it is so if it's raining all bets are off Today is water bill day. Yeah, that's right. Got to pay the water bill. Um, if you recall last month, the guy who uh, I do not get along with very well actually cut my water off before it was due. So I have to do something about that. And, um, and plus I have to pay it. It's, it's um, you know, it's that time again. Now it is possible that there'll be another way to pay that and I'll give you an update if that happens. I'm going to try it next month. So today my friend Juliana uh, is going to come with me and we've got a there's a few errands and I wanted her to help me with something. So I'm going to show uh, going to pay the water bill and you'll see the taxi ride you know through Armenia. I know many of you like to see that. And then afterwards, they're going to come back up north and um, going to go to Cravings for lunch. She was very curious about it, so we're going to go. Now, I will mention now, even though uh, the, the video clips for Cravings are, you know, towards the end of this video, I will mention that the steak that I had uh, turned out to be pretty overcooked. Fortunately, it was very tasty. It was an Argentina steak. It was it was very tasty. Um, so that was disappointing. But then once I started eating it, uh, I didn't mind so much. Another thing that I wanted to do is to go visit Justin. Now, Justin, you may recall, and uh, I mentioned him in past videos, we've met and went to a few places and hung out. Uh, he's another person from the United States who is sight impaired. He has a, he basically is blind in one eye, can't see out of the other, you know, that old cliche, well, it kind of applies to him. So if it's, uh, you know, during the daytime, he can go out and he can see enough so that he can walk around. But as soon as it starts to get darker, if there's shadows, um, it's, it's pretty treacherous for him. Well, I wanted to go visit him because he messaged me that he's got a foot infection and he can't walk. He's basically housebound. As a matter of fact, he can barely 
get out of bed to use the restroom. He's, uh, he's in a lot of pain. So I wanted to swing by to see how he's doing. Now he does have somebody that's helping him that speaks English. Her name is Lena. Very nice person and uh, very possibly will be in my little uh, band of tour guides uh, that I'm uh, putting together, uh, Linda being another one. So what was going on with him? Well, he got this foot infection and you know, he messaged me about, you know, do I know where he can go for this? Well, I, I do and I told him about, you know, a good hospital he can go, it's very modern. And he messaged back and he says, well, you know, they do house calls. Well, yes, I do know that, but you know, I'm thinking, well, you didn't ask me that, but then again, I should have, I should have said that. So I think Lena must have told him, but yes, doctors will do house calls here, which is very nice and very convenient. So he calls up this doctor, or, or Lena did, I'm not sure which, and uh, she came to his house. I don't recall exactly how much he said the first house call was, but I think it amounted to something around $20. It, it would be somewhere between $15 and $25. That's the cost here in Armenia if you want to have a house call. So she came to, you know, to his apartment and uh, for the 15 or $20. And she came and I don't know exactly what she did, cut his foot open. There was even talk of like a minor operation. Basically, she's cleaning out the infection, giving him antibiotics, changing the band-aids. I don't know what all. I know that she's changing band-aids, but she not only came the first time, but subsequently she has been going every single day every day, even on the weekend, every day. And she, she'll she change the bandage and she brings him whatever medicine uh, he might need. She, on one visit, I guess she brought him an antibiotic sh uh, shot and uh, did that in his apartment. He's really impressed with this doctor, mostly because of the extent of care and concern that she has for him. And I know that that is a very comforting thing when I was in the hospital, uh, in the VA hospital uh, with cancer. And back when, you know, I was pronounced to die and all, all of that, so you all know that story if you've been watching. I had a doctor there, uh, and, and this was an exceptionally good VA hospital. And I had a whole team assigned to me 24 hours a day. And this, this one doctor, this very nice lady, she came, beautiful also, but I guess we're not supposed to say that. But she came and sat by my bed and she took my hand and she's telling me, you know, the comforting things. And uh, she didn't say everything's gonna be all right because nobody believed that at the time, but uh, she just was very soothing and very comforting. And she sat with me for about a half an hour. And I was just really struck with the idea that that a doctor in the United States would take that amount of time with a patient. You don't see that very often. And here, it's much more than norm. Doctors will act as doctors and more. He won't let me interview him, and I would love him to tell this story, but Lena, uh, who is, as I said, is you know helping him out, basically his assistant. He hires her almost full time. But she brought her mother over to see him, and her mother sat there and prayed for his foot. It, it's such a touching expression that, it, you know, that also reminded me when I was in the hospital and the uh, radiation technician sat and risked her job to sit and pray for me for about five minutes out loud. Um, it was just a very, a sweet gesture in the U.S. you can lose your job here well it's just Lena's mother but it's it's the same sweet gesture all the same there's just so much kindness that you experience not just out on the street when things are easy but when things get tough there's there's just this level of genuine humanity 
uh, it's just a joy to be around. And I'm happy to be here and be a part of it. You'll see that through most of this, I use the Osmo camera. And, uh, and you'll see that the sky in a lot of this is just white. There's a lot of white contrasting uh, to the video. So I'm, I'm working to figure that out. You can see at times it's perfect. So I have to get it away from the, the light of the sky and, and tilt the camera down a little bit. But there's a setting and I just haven't figured it out yet. So onward and upward. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the scenery and I'll see you soon. So I'm here in this restaurant and I get a napkin and it looks like it's got a stain. But then I look at the other one and they, they put an ink stamp on every napkin individually. Crazy. Sometimes it's just so bizarre. This is the restaurant, it's called Cravings, and this is on the table. You can see their logo, it's a panda, and it's I Love Cravings Express. Of course, the restaurant's name actually isn't Express, but obviously somebody visited a Panda Express sometime and just thought the panda was so cute. An Argentine steak. That's a salmon.